So I have the pleasure to present this uh, uh, speaker, Professor Arresta from the University of uh, Napoli. And um, he will talk about advancement in nonlinear mechanical nanostructures in the next series. Uh, and then uh, uh, we are uh, very pleased to hear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much, Luca. Many thanks go to the organizers of the conference for having invited me here to provide the presentation on recent advancements in local and nonlinear mechanics of small scale structures. Ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, this is the outline. Uh, the first part uh, deals with the Action, a short introduction to the origin of the nanotechnology with application to nano engineering uh, with consideration of advanced materials and nanostructures. Special emphasis will be given to the local continuum mechanics uh, and some comparison, some comparison will be given in, uh, to, with uh, atomistic models. Particular seminal contributions will be discussed. Consistency of integral formulation will be considered, and uh, the classical strain-driven formulation proposed by Ehring and will be uh, not only reformulated and uh, re-examined, and uh, a new proposal based on a stress-driven formulation will be uh, illustrated, and uh, some uh, applicative difficulties to structural mechanics will be uh, considered, discussed, and uh, modeling strategy for complex national systems will be given. And uh, if you want to consider soft nanostructures in addition to the local effects by small scale structures, it's necessary to consider, to consider also nonlinear effects. Uh, we will consider a, a new formulation of elasticity based on a rate elasticity formulation, which is a covariant type elastic model which is a generalization and improvement of the one proposed by Ambrose Clifford Trusdell uh, on the basis on uh, some basic tools of differential geometry. Concluding remarks will be provided and the future perspective will be outlined. This slide contains a piece of the script of the talk provided by Richard Phyllis Feynman on 29 December in uh, 1959, on the occasion of the annual meeting of the American Physici Physicist Society, where uh, it was shown not only that there is plenty of room at the bottom, but uh, it was uh, uh, underlined that it's possible to reduce sides of things in a practical way. This was an important concept to manipulate and to control matter to innovative applications. And uh, Feynman uh, put a general question to scientific community and he said, is it possible to write the entire 24 volumes of the Encyclopedia Britannica in, on the head of a pen? He positively answered to this, uh, this question. And in addition, he shown also that it's a possible read, raised letters on the head of the pin. This was, uh, his idea was surely revolutionary. And uh, the work by Feynman was considered inspiration of the coming era of nanotechnology, where the father of the nanotechnology can be uh, attributed by, to uh, Kim Eric Drexler, thanks to his uh, conceptual, theoretical, and experimental work. The idea was in locating ad hoc atoms to spark specifically chemical reaction to obtain and to generate complex architectural molecules. And uh, this was uh, the, the, the key point to uh, conceive the concept of the nanomachine, for example, or for example, the universal assemblers, which could be exploited for a plethora of challenging application from biomedical robots to environmental scrubbers. 
a general definition of the interest for the nanotechnology was given about 20, 25 years ago by the American, American initiative which considered nanotechnology as the technology of the nanoscience which uh, is uh, possible to study advanced materials and nanostructures which uh, with, with at least one dimension size from 1 to 100 nanometers. He introduced the concept, uh, it was introduced the concept of the scaling down and it was observed that when uh, we consider smaller and smaller devices, why geometric ratios can be considered invariant the play of the forces changes and in particular surface tension and van der Waals force become dominant with respect to gravity contribution for example and for this reason it's necessary to take into account for design and optimize a smaller and smaller device and structures size effects size effects that in particular in this range for uh, the majority of advanced materials such as uh, materials full carbon nanotubes, graphene. Thanks to these materials, it's been possible to consider groundbreaking applications, just to mention some of them. For example, a nanosensor embedded on a piece of plastic, which is only a small piece of a complex intelligent transportation system, which can be used, for example, to monitor traffic of, or to help reducing congestion. Thanks by cement reinforced by carbon nanotube bundles. Or for example, um, a switch or for example a gas sensor based on graphene thanks to the excellent electrical properties of graphene. Or a nano cantilever based biosensor where there is uh, a biological material located on the nano cantilever, which thanks to reaction chemi chemical, um, it, it is possible to detect some analyte. Anyway, uh, the, uh, this is the general scheme of nanoscience, and yeah. nanoscience can be considered the convergence point of, of, the, of different disciplines, ranging from chemistry, biology, physics, uh, including engineering, and many bran branches of sciences. In fact, there are a lot of applications uh, will fall uh, within this scheme due to the fact that uh, the interest of advanced material, smaller, smaller and smaller devices, is the, is the size. In particular, if the size fall within the interval 100 to uh, one, uh, 1 to 100, sorry, uh, nanometers, there are important side effects which have to be taken into account for a correct design and optimization of this structure. Uh, I, I like to show this uh, diagram extracted by a chapter by uh, from the I Victor. Uh, thank you, Victor. Uh, this uh, scheme show this was, uh, was published in the video of continuum mechanics. And uh, it can be shown that smaller is a stiffer phenomenon. This means that when you consider a smaller and smaller structures, there is a stiffening behavior when compared to the local response. And this means that an emergency in considering, in considering science effects. Uh, for example, for a wide class of, of nanomaterials, it's possible to note that there is a reduction a reduction of uh, young modulus, modulus is radius is increasing. Uh, in, uh, this, um, in this context, we are interested to consider a method, a general method, uh, with, could, which would be considered as uh, the tool to model and assess size effects. Uh, local continuum mechanics provides, based on simple formulations, simple formulations when considered, when compared with, for example, atomistic models which, are, which provide accurate results, but they are characterized by the complex formulations, uh, huge computational burdens. Uh, continuum mechanics can be uh, used by inserting a suitable uh, scale length parameter to tune some experimental outcomes. And in particular, the, uh, this, 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 uh, the, the smaller is the phenomenon. 
Uh, I will start with uh, the contributions, uh, seminal contribution by uh, Krona, Kunin, Rogula, Ehring, and Alai, until Proizotto and uh, uh, his research group. Until they learned that there is a new mode of continuum mechanics, the stress driven formulation, uh, so named just to compare the difference and the merits, the merits with the classical uh, contribution proposed by Ehring. This is only an essential bibliography of this, this work, and in particular, I'd like to show, to uh, discuss some pro basic properties of Ehringen's integral for three dimensional non local elastic continuum. The, according to Ehringen theory, the stress field is obtained by a convolution between response and averaging kernel. And uh, this, uh, this, uh, the averaging kernel uh, fulfills some basic properties, which are symmetry and positivity, normalization, and impulsivity in the distributional sense. I have considered a, a special kernel, widely adopted in mechanics of nanostructures, which was proposed by Helmholtz, just because this kernel is the fundamental solution of, of the Helmholtz differential operator. And uh, thanks to this uh, kernel, is it possible to invert the convolution. This convolution has been formulated for a slender nanobeam, and I refer to one-dimensional problems just to, uh, to examine some obstruction with the equilibrium. Um, so, uh, the bending moment uh, is the convolution between the averaging kernel and the elastic curvature. And if one considers the Helmholtz kernel, is it possible to invert this relation and to obtain a dif an equivalent differential problem characterized by the constitutive differential equation and some constitutive boundary conditions. These boundary conditions were ignored in literature, and in particular in the community of uh, the engineering science was considered simply the differential equation as the equivalent formulation of the Ehringen uh, constitutive theory. Ehringen theory, uh, Ehringen uh, studied uh, problems defined uh, on unbounded domains, and for that, for defected problems, defected body, fractured body, uh, dislocation, skew dislocation, really, really surface waves. And in that context, the involved fields, the stress field and the elastic deformation are tacitly and rapidly vanishing at infinity. This is not the case of the structural mechanics in general. In fact, Pedersen, about 20 years ago, considered the classical scheme of an, an actuator. The actuator, a cantilever under a point force at the free end. If one considers this scheme, the bending moment is a linear function. In this scheme, this term is equal to zero. The differential equation provides a local one. No, no side effects emerge, and for, for this reason, this was considered the paradox of the cantilever. But this is not a paradox. It's simply due to the fact that the differential equation, this differential equation is not equivalent to the original integral convolution proposed by Ehring for unbounded domains. But if we want the constitutive boundary conditions, the constitutive boundary conditions are violated due to the fact that the bending moment is equal to zero here. And also the shear, and the shear force is different from zero. These conditions are violated. This means that if one considers the differential problem equipped with the constitutive boundary condition, simply the solution does, of the structural problem doesn't exist. And uh, in this, uh, we have reported, for example, we have evaluated the convolution. This is a linear function for this scheme. If one calculates the convolution, the bending moment results to be no, a nonlinear function. This is clashes with the equilibrium. This means that the solution, the, the adding and formulation uh, of uh, non local continuum mechanics cannot apply to, uh, to structural mechanics. Someone could say that, but if the domain is unbounded, but if the domain is unbounded, if the, the, the involved fields are not regular and the, the, the output of the convolution is a continuous differential function, and if one considers a simple counter example, example, an unbounded domain under three point forces, the bending moment is not regular. 
And this diagram cannot be reproduced by convolution. This means that also for unbounded domains in many problems of negative interest, no solution exists at continuum level. Many researchers are considering in literature the, the spin-driven two-phase model, which is the convex combination between a local phase and a local phase based on Ehring and theory. Yes, this problem uh, leads to a well-posed structure, a well-posed structural problem, but it's clear this is based on a singular, a singular model exhibiting a singular behavior when the mixed parameter is to zero. Um, it's interesting to note that if one solves, for example, a simple beam, considering a strain driven to phase model, the limiting solution bind the doublet for the doublet can zero. This is, uh, means that uh, the limiting solution cannot be attached to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the structural problem formulated according to wearing the solution. The turning point is the formulation of a stress-driven type, where the, the driving variable is the stress field. Uh, we could, there is no obstruction with the equilibrium. The stress field could be convoluted by an averaging kernel to obtain the elastic deformation. The elastic deformation and elastic contribution to the total geometric contribution. And if you want to solve this problem, we can note for simple, simple schemes of structural mechanics, we could consider that independently of boundary conditions, loading, applied loading, etc., the a stiffening behavior can be obtained for increasing the value of the non-local parameter. And this is in line with the experimental results in nanomechanics, where, as I said initially, a, st a sm smaller is a stiffer phenomenon can be predicted by this model. Uh, I will go uh, quickly on this part. We have also examined the case where uh, the, the search field is a non regular field, and uh, is it possible to uh, consider, for example, some discontinuity, discontinuity points where are applied, for example, concentrated if are present along the beam axis internal constraints. It's clear that convolution can be, can be replaced with the differential equation in the regular part of the structures. Uh, to the, the structural problem can be uh, studied by integrating the deflection. Uh, the, the deflection can be obtained by integrating the relevant equation by imposing non-classical boundary conditions, which are the ones I um, illustrated previously uh, at the external boundary and uh, at the interface uh, is sufficient to prescribe continuity of the elastic deformation and its first derivative. Uh, I have also no local effects due to uh, thermal contributions where it can be shown that uh, if one consider a local contribution, a thermal local contribution, uh, the, thermal, uh, the thermal curvature can be obtained as a convolution along the the all structures, and in fact, the thermal, thermal curvature can be noted as, as propagated along the structures. Uh, an abstract formulation to include not only strain driven but also strain driven formulation, and considering also gradient effect as made by, uh, as proposed by Lim, Zhang, and Reddy. And um, this formulation uh, is expressed in abstract terms just because uh, if, for example, the, 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 the function f is the stress field, this formulation is, stress, no, is a non-local uh, stress gradient. Otherwise, we could recuperate the uh, classical non-local strain gradient model, which is uh, anyway based on singular behavior characterized by the form classical formulation proposed by Ehringer. Um, also, from this case, we have considered some inclusion of discontinuities, generalizing the method of uh, integration of deflection for uh, a nano for uh, local beams, and uh, we can concede we, we can see that uh, if the no local parameter uh, increase, uh, increases, uh, then a stiffener behavior can be considered. Otherwise, if the gradient parameter introduced by, by meaning is increasing, a softened behavior can be obtained. And this is the alter ego of the uh, formulation, classical formulation of non-local strain gradient mechanics. 
Um, this is a just uh, a, a summary of uh, the two formulations, strength-driven type and stress-driven type. The first of one clashes with equilibrium, and uh, no solution can be obtained if one considers such a problem. On the contrary, we have shown that, uh, we have uh, proved that uh, the all, uh, all uh, good properties of the local theory of elasticity can be uh, obtained if the local uh, contributions to the stretching, uh, uh, to the total stretching for nanostructures is represented with the convolution. But the important that is, is on the stress-driven type. Uh, if one would like to consider, for example, a nanostructure interacting with the elastic media, which exhibit significant size effects, it's possible to consider nanobeam underlying uh, em embedding in a nano foundation. A nano foundation and uh, a general contribution was given by Wigart, uh, which is a reaction driven formulation, provided the, the displacement for a simple nano beams, simple nano beam. But following the same thing, uh, emerge, emerge, uh, for a theory, it's possible to note that this formulation is equivalent to a differential constitutive equation equipped with constitutive boundary conditions. These constitutive boundary conditions are violated for the majority of, the, of structural problems. For this reason, this equation can, cannot be applied to structural mechanics. Or, as uh, made in past time, this equation has been replaced with a differential law. But if one considers the differential law, uh, some uh, paradoxes can be obtained as uh, happened for having and theory. In fact, if one considers, we ignore these constitutive boundary conditions, we can have, uh, for example, if one considers an OBIM under a uniform distributed load, uh, considering an auto foundation characterized by a differential law consequent but not equivalent to the Wigert uh, uh, reaction-driven convolution, and the solution of this problem is a constant. It's a constant and no size effects are present. And this is not a paradox, but it's because uh, the constitutive formulation, the adopted constitutive uh, formulation is of a differential type. Um, for geotechnical problems many years ago, Professor Solazzo proposed uh, uh, um, an improvement of the Wigert formulation by adding two terms. But the two terms allows closure, well-posedness of the mathematical problem, and, but the problem is interpretation of these two terms, which were, were considered concentrated force uh, on the boundary of the structure, which are of a constitutive type, and they are questionable for a physical point of view. For this reason, following the, 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 the reasoning for, uh, made for uh, the internal elasticity, we have considered a displacement-driven formulation where there is no obstruction with the compatibility conditions. And this is uh, the uh, classical, uh, is the general problem for a nanobeam uh, underlying a nano foundation where the scale, effects, uh, scale effects are present both in internal elasticity but also in the external elasticity by considering a stress-driven formulation and for the internal elasticity and for the external elasticity by displacement-driven approach. Uh, this model is well posed, has been shown uh, in the recent paper, International Journal of Engineering, and is possible to, uh, to tune, it's possible to tune uh, both uh, soft and stiffening behavior. Uh, and this allows for predicting a wide class of nano devices. It's clear that um, the actuator could be soft, especially if advanced materials are considered. For example, uh, we consider large dis the deformation. Uh, we have coupled non-local elasticity uh, based, for example, on non-local gradient curvature uh, in the geometrical nonlinear range. Uh, the constitutive model adopted is to consider uh, an increment of the bending moment. Uh, the, undeformed, uh, the undeformed structure has been assumed to be stress-free. Uh, the increment of bending moment is the moment uh, evaluated according to the formation uh, structures. It's a linear function, and this linear function depends on the, uh, the abscissa over bar L to be determined. Uh, in particular, we consider a local gradient curvature. We have solved the structural problem by an iterative procedure. Uh, my assistant, Marcia Salacar, will present uh, at a six in my symposium this work. 
for some details. Uh, we will uh, integrate the elastic curvature. We evaluate the curve, uh, the curve linear abscissa, and we control that the length of the deformed beam coincides with the original length, having assumed that the length of the beam rem remains invariant. Um, anyway, we could increase the equation after an iterations to obtain the diagram of the deformated structure. This is also a flow chart, uh, and these are uh, uh, some results uh, corresponding to this case uh, for which, when uh, for increasing the local parameter, a stiffening behavior can be observed. And this is in line with the majority of uh, uh, experimental results of the literature. Uh, this, uh, this problem, we have, uh, we have considered geometrical nonlinear analysis by considering the classical uh, constitutive theory of, of finite elasticity. Uh, but we would like to consider, for example, uh, non-elastic phenomena such as thermal effects, piezoelectric, uh, piezoelectric effects, uh, um, viscoelasto, viscoplastic contributions. There are some issues on this map. And uh, we have adopted a recently proposed uh, contributions uh, of rate elasticity, which uh, leads to an hyperelastic model. This, this model can be is an, a, an improved version of the original proposed by Trusdell in 1959. 55, where we consider the elastic stretching of a body moving in a space-time contest is a function which depends, non-linear depends on the stress and of the stress rate. The stress rate uh, is uh, the lead derivative along the motion, space-time motion of the stress field. The stress field is, uh, the stress field, sorry, what is the room? The stress field, uh, the stress field is a natural field. Uh, natural field uh, means uh, perimeter mass, uh, and this uh, plays uh, an important role in the, in the theory, uh, which is based uh, on uh, a an innovative geometric approach, based on differential geometry. Uh, this is uh, the tangent compliance operator. Uh, this uh, this uh, relation is assumed uh, the constitutive operator is assumed time invariance along the motion. Invariance means uh, uh, that the operator varies by pass along the motion, space-time motion. And uh, if uh, some integrability conditions are, are fulfilled at any fixed time, uh, this means that it's possible to define uh, the constitutive a potential. A potential PC, this potential, this uh, fiber derivative provides the uh, constitutive operator and uh, another step providing uh, a, a subsequent uh, conditions of integrability, degree integrability, leads to uh, characteristic of hyperelastic materials. Positive definiteness of uh, uh, this operator leads to the fact that the, 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 the elastic potential is strictly convex. This is strictly convex, this is the mass conservation, and uh, the elastic state uh, is a novel concept because, uh, uh, in elasticity because uh, it is a variable state which is associated with the stress field, the stress field per unit mass, which is uh, obtained by evaluating the nonlinear potential uh, on the stress field, it provides exactly the elastic state as a function uh, of sigma in a nonlinear model, in a nonlinear uh, uh, way. And uh, an important, uh, the elastic state of the way has been uh, defined in using uh, the euler legend franken transformation. And uh, this is uh, the, the global potential which is uh, obtained integrated on, uh, on, a domain, on a domain omega, the, uh, the complementary potential expressed in terms of the elastic state. Uh, the, the important result of this theory is the conservativeness of the constitutive operator H. This means that uh, there is uh, no elastic work if we consider uh, a lapse of time, delta T, and this lapse of time, no, el no elastic work is expended by the, the natural stress uh, along uh, uh, the motion. Yes. This, uh, this result is very important and, uh, sorry, 
it's very important and uh, uh, the, the observation by Varadryl, this essential characteristic feature of elastic model is not capable with the hypoelastic model proposed by Trussell, uh, as proven by Barry Bernstein in uh, 1960. Uh, in this regard, Rodney's observation was uh, first the intentions was to formulate a new concept of elastic behavior, or more precisely, a concept of elastic behavior expressed entirely in terms of rates. However, probably the overwhelming majority of hypoelastic solids are inelastic. With the, the new formulation of elasticity in uh, according to the rate form of elasticity, we have uh, no dissipation, and this is an important, important problem in our opinion, and um, this, uh, this formulation we have also uh, considered the uh, equilibrium, rate equilibrium along the motion, and formulated the, the elastostatic problems and uh, elastostatic problems in terms of the new constitutive uh, theory of elasticity. Of elasticity. Uh, this is an essential bibliography of the contributions, and in particular, in particular I'd like to cite, to cite the recent uh, paper uh, collecting uh, recent advancement in continuum mechanics and electrodynamics by space time and geometric approach. Uh, I have reported a case study, um, a simple case uh, of, of, of trust. Uh, nanotrusses are uh, very important uh, in uh, nanotechnological applications and um, we have considered, uh, first of all we have simulated the local case uh, um, which is in line with the classical results uh, on uh, for snap through phenom phenomena and uh, we uh, have applied the rates elasticity formulation to include non-local effects no local effects, uh, and we have reported simply the results of the calculation. This result will be published soon. And uh, we can note that uh, for increasing the value of the local parameter, a stiffening behavior can be observed. <coughs> it's very important because uh, we have uh, considered in this formulation two uh, ingredients, size effects modeled according to consistent formulations of non-local mechanics, and we have considered geometrical linear phenomena, but not considering finite deformations, uh, where there are uh, some issues regarding uh, definition of reference configuration, intermediate configuration, the ordering of consider in considering, uh, for example, non-elastic and elastic contributions. Uh, if one considers the rate formulations of elasticity, the stretching, the geometric stretching, uh, defined as uh, the time rate uh, along the motion of the material metric tensor, is the sum of an elastic contributions obtained by the new formulation of rate elasticity and non-elastic contributions, which are, for example, thermal stretching, uh, piezoelectrical stretching, phase transformation stretching, and so on. Well, there is uh, not an ordering in considering before one contri an elastic contribution and then another one. It's uh, possible to invert all contributions without mod modifying the final result. Uh, we have uh, discussed uh, the, the, uh, the, the, some consistency of uh, uh, semi contribution by Ehring, and we have uh, pro provided a new way to uh, to uh, model and assess size effects, uh, and we have included a uh, uh, new formulation of rate elasticity, which could be a candidate to, to obtain a, a no geometrical non-linear analysis of elastic and non-elastic solids. Uh, the, um, this is a work in progress also. We are interested to study two-dimensional curve structures, uh, and in general nonlinear problems of small-scale structures, buckling, and the local modeling on nanostructures on nano foundation, and wave propagation program. Special thanks go to uh, the Italian Minister of Education of University and Research in the framework of the following project. Many thanks for your attention.